Hi and welcome to lesson zero. Uh, this is the very first lesson of my comms 1018 video tutorial series. In this lesson I just want to quickly walk through compiling a C++ program because it's essential that you know this before moving on to any of the other videos. This video will be quick and will just cover enough so that you can get going quickly. I just wanted to, to note that I am going to be using the G++ compiler on Linux when compiling my C++ code. And so all the instructions in, the, in this video are for G++ on Linux. Although other compilers generally don't differ too much. So our first question is, well, what is a compiler? So a compiler is simply a program that converts source code into machine code or some other lower level form of code so that they can be read and executed by a computer. So this is because a computer can't just understand English like syntax that we use in C++. It thinks in binary and that's ones and zeros. So for a computer to be able to run our code, we need to convert our English like C++ code into machine code which the computer can then understand and execute. So in this lesson, I'm just going to show you how to compile your source code directly into your executable file, which we can then execute. So there are other methods that include, for example, compiling the source code into object code and then linking all these object code files into an executable. But in this case, we're just going to keep it simple and convert our source code directly into our executable so that we can get started quickly. So if we look at the command, this is the command that we use in the terminal to convert a C++ source file called source.cpp, in this case, into an executable file called output. So the first word over here, the G++, indicates that we want to use the G++ compiler in this case. So as I said, you get other compilers. They also have similar syntax usually, um, but we're using G++ in this case. Then we get our dash w all parameter and this basically tells the compiler to print all the warnings that are found to our code. And this is just good for us because we're starting out and it lets us focus on forming good practices from the start. We then have our dash pedantic and that basically just disables all the compiler extensions. So we are doing this so the compiler simply converts our code without using any extensions. So this means that our code will be able to be compiled on any computer with a G++ compiler without having to worry if that computer has the right extensions. But you don't have to worry about these extensions too much for now though. We then have our dash std equals C++11 and this basically just tells the compiler that we want to use the C++11 standard or version when compiling our program. Then we have our dash o parameter, which basically just indicates that the next parameter, which is this one, will be the name of the output file. So here we have outputs as our next parameter, and that's the name of the actual output file. Then finally, at the end, we list the names of all our input files that we wish to compile. In this case, it's just source.cpp. So once we've, once we've actually created an executable, we want to know how to run it. So to run it is very simple. You just type full stop forward slash and then the name of our output file that you want to run. And in this case, it's output. So we just say full stop forward slash output and that will run it. And make sure you're in the same directory when you do this um, as the output file. And that's all for this short video tutorial. So thanks for watching. I hope this video was clear and made sense. And in the next video, we'll be walking through the basic structure of a C++, C++ program so that we can start writing our own programs.